When you enable the Git Auto Stash option, VS Code will automatically stash your local changes whenever you do a Git pull, and then restore them after the pull is completed. Now let's take a look at where you might need this option. So here I have a, a simple repository just created using Create React App, and I have a local change here, just renaming one of the components here to my local app, giving a more specific name. And let's say that I want to go and synchronize this so I have the most recent changes from the remote as well. So I, again, I'm not going to commit anything here. I just have my changes locally. I'm going to go and synchronize things. And when I do this, you can see that it's telling me I'm going to do a git push and pull, which seems good. I'll say OK here. And now it's actually complaining because what has happened is that there are changes on the remote side that are conflicting with my local changes. So it's telling me, please clean your repository before we can do a checkout because of these conflicts. And I can actually go into the git log here and see all the commands that the um, VS Code was running behind the scenes and actually see where the conflicts were taking place. Now, if we enable git auto stash, VS Code will instead, when you uh, run into this case, try to stash your local changes perform the git pull, which should complete, and then reapply the stash, and then you would be able to resolve any of the conflicts. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to open up my settings with control comma or command comma on Mac, and I'm going to search for git auto stash, and I want the git auto stash option. Again, this is disabled by default, so normally when you have a conflict, it will actually show that warning dialog and just prevent you from going and resolving things. You'd have to go and resolve things manually, but let's go turn on git auto stash here. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing, so I'm just going to hit the synchronize icon down here. In the status bar, again, it's telling me I'm going to do a push and pull, which seems good. And now you can see that instead of just canceling out of the pull, it has actually successfully performed the pull, but is now showing us the conflicts. And that is because, again, behind the scenes, it has stashed the local changes and then performed the pull and then is trying to reapply them. So now I could go and actually try to resolve these. And I could say, oh, I actually want to keep my local changes. So let's do accept incoming changes here and make sure I say accept incoming changes down here as well. And then I'll save. And now everything is OK. I can just hit the little plus over here. And now I have my stage, stage changes. And I was able to resolve that conflict. And again, the poll was performed successfully. So that's the Git Auto Stash option for VS Code. If you find yourself often having to manually resolve these types of conflicts, you might want to consider enabling it, because it can speed up the process a little bit.